and welcome. Welcome to a new vlog. Welcome to Friday. It is a very cloudy Friday, which we all know cloudy is my favorite weather. I've got all the curtains open. There's a tiny bit of sun trying to peek through, but it's mostly cloudy. So you can see the sun is trying and there's a little bit of blue sky up there and off in the distance there. But for the most part, it is quite cloudy, which makes me very happy. It is also only 79 degrees out there so far and it's just about 9.30. It is the perfect September 1st. Um, it is Friday, September 1st. Mom is currently on her way. She should be here soon. Let me get you guys put in your usual spot. Which, FYI, if you've wondered, this is your usual spot, right there. Mom is on her way. We are going to Whole Foods. So, just to catch you up, because I haven't vlogged since Sunday. The last vlog ended on Sunday. That was my decorating for fall. So as you can see behind me, we've got fall colors and autumnal decor um, popping up around the apartment. I'm still putting finishing tweaks on things and I'm still cleaning up, but um, the majority of the decor is up and in place and it is just making me so happy. Um, it just makes the place feel a bit fresher and just nicer to be in. Mom's calling. Hello? Hi. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. All right, love you. Bye. Mom is almost here. So yeah, the fall decor went up. Monday, I worked at home. That was fine, Monday was fine. Tuesday, I went to campus. That was fine. I actually felt, it was a bit annoying actually. I actually felt better this Tuesday. I managed to eat more throughout the day so I didn't starve myself all day like I inadvertently did the previous Tuesday. I drank way more. I went through a whole big bottle of water, this bottle. I went through a whole one of these by the time I finished teaching at three and then I had the rest of this in my office and on the drive home so and I'd had coffee in the morning so like I had a lot more to drink I was feeling a lot better and despite having to park on the roof again and having to go up all those stairs at the end of the day I felt better I didn't I felt physically better I felt mentally better like it was I was like really excited thinking ooh maybe I'm already adjusting like maybe eating and drinking consistently throughout the day maybe that's the key we're gonna try that again next week I don't know how I would have felt the next day because I then got stuck in a really horrible traffic jam. They had to close the highway. I don't think it ended up being a fatal accident, but there were some critical injuries. Someone was going the wrong way down the highway and there were like six or seven cars involved. It sounds horrific. So because they were closing the highway, everyone had to get off and it's rush hour. So there were even more cars on the highway trying to now get off the highway. It took me two hours to get home that night. A drive that normally takes me 25 minutes, 30 at, that, at the most at that time of day. So by the time I got home, I was tired. I was tense from being stuck in the car for two hours. Like I'd managed to stay calm and I was just listening to an audiobook, so like it was fine, but I, I wonder how I would have felt if I'd been able to get home like by 5.30 and have a few hours to relax before going to bed instead of only a couple hours. So I still felt pretty bad on Wednesday. Wednesday I went by again in a haze of emails and some grading and just admin work on my laptop for most of the day. Couldn't get much of anything done on Wednesday. And then yesterday I worked from my parents' house, so I did get to see them and the dogs. We had humble pie delivery for um, dinner, so that's pizza, so I've got tons of leftover pizza for this weekend. We had a good time, and I got a lot more grading done, but I still have some grading 
to do. Today is going to be spent grading, basically. But I also want to try to do some cover sketching. I'll give you a whole book project update later, but I wanted some cover sketching and I would like to try to do some outlining slash writing in Across the Pond 5 while Independent Hearts 3 is still out with the betas. So I'm not starting my reread of that until my betas are done because I want to reread it with their feedback in mind. So I'm in a bit of a holding pattern with that project. So I want to take advantage and spend this time working on cover sketching and outlining and doing some writing in that project because I'm missing doing some writing. And I also have mom's book to beta read. So that is our plan for today, starting with Whole Foods. Um, I need to go put my shoes on and get my bag together and then mom and I will go grocery shopping and we will take you with us. down at Whole Foods. I'm with mom. Hi everyone. <laughs> Thought I would take advantage and we get... We just need to try to make it out of the parking lot. Yes, yeah, so I need to move my phone so it's not... Well, no, not in your way. phone so much as the other goofy drivers. Yeah, make sure we're avoiding goofy drivers. And, uh, delivery truck. This is where their delivery is. Yeah, they... I guess. <laughs> they just don't zone stuff properly around here. No. It's like, get the thing in, in its Watch place. Watch out for the... Don't care if, if it has a proper loading zone or not. Yeah. So Whole Foods was fun. It's not that hot out, which is nice. It's humid out. Not compared to like the South or the Midwest, but it's quite humid for Arizona. <laughs> for, for the desert, it's very humid. But it's still fairly cool-ish. It's warm, but it's not hot. I think I came this way. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, there's a lot of construction in this area. Um, Whole Foods had a lot of fall stuff out, which made me very happy. Um, there were some signs of autumn in the bakery section was, with some cookies. With they didn't have any Christmas stuff. And I'm going to get to that in a second. Oh, okay. And there were some fall like bath bombs and soaps and candles and stuff in the beauty and like home kind of section. That was very tempting, but I resisted on the candles and I resisted on the bath products. Um, I did get a new bottle of Mrs. Meyer's mum hand soap for my bathroom because I've only got like a little bit left in my bottle in the bathroom. Yeah, signs of autumn, which is very exciting. They've got some fall decor starting to pop up around those displays. But what made me really happy was my dad sent us a text in the family chat while we were finishing up at Whole Foods. He's at Costco and they have Christmas stuff out, which he was complaining about. He's, He's like, they don't even have Halloween. September 1st is too early for this. I told him to suck it up, Buttercup, ho, 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 and then put a Santa emoji with it. 
Um, Dad is definitely the blah humbug, Groot, Scrooge, Scrooge slash Grinch. He's a Grooge, which is a combination of Scrooge and Grinch. You just made up a new I did. As I say, I have a PhD in English. I can make up words whenever I want. So. Who cares about that grammar stuff? <laughs> grammar, I'm a rhetorician, not a grammarician, so I don't yeah. really care. Um, but anyway. Grammar has changed over the years yes. as it is. Anyway. Otherwise, we'd still be speaking Shakespearean English. We'd still be speaking Latin. Well, that true. That too. <laughs> if if language, re like Western culture, would still be speak speaking Latin if language mattered that much that we didn't change it. Anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, Dad, Dad doesn't get into the holiday spirit until December first. <laughs> then it's allowed to be Christmas. But yeah, there were some signs of autumn, which makes me very very happy. So we had yeah, a lovely had, time. Yeah, this really can't he likes to tease us because Lisa and I both are Christmas fiends and yeah it's never too early for autumn or for Christmas as far as I'm concerned. I got some pretty flowers. Ugh. Yeah, Dad yeah, only got two bunches. Yeah. Um, oh. So I will show you these once I get home and get them all arranged in a vase. Um, but yeah, Mom's just driving me home and then I will get everything unpacked and sorted, get myself cleaned up. Then I get to grade papers. Yay! definitely running away from me. I'm grading. <laughs> I'm just a little irritated because it's a three-day weekend. It's a holiday Monday on Monday. So it's three o'clock. I was, I kind of planned ahead this week to be able to finish my work week around three o'clock on Friday and just kick off a little early for the three-day holiday weekend and yeah I'm running a little bit behind because it's a three-day weekend I won't have Monday to do any grading then in class on Tuesday we're going over their rough drafts and so I really wanted to have their rough drafts done and my online students are starting their next project on Tuesday and have assignments for the next project due on Tuesday and so I wanted to have their final drafts done. I mean technically they don't need their score from the final draft of these this first project to be able to move forward on the next project. I don't have to grade these today but I try to stay ahead for each class. So 
I like to try to have the previous assignment graded before they turn in the next assignment. And in this class, <laughs> because there's such a fast turnaround time for the assignments, it just means that I'm grading a lot and often. I'll have to grade, hopefully some students will turn stuff in early so I can do some grading on Tuesday and Wednesday next week and get their Tuesday assignments graded and done before they turn in their Thursday assignments. What they're turning in next week is super easy to grade and it's basically graded on completion. It's some pre-writing work to help them with their projects. So like it's not hard, it's just time consuming. The final drafts so far are going pretty quickly because they've all done really well so that makes it go fast so yeah it's not taking that long and it's not hard it's just it still takes you know even if it only takes a minute or two per assignment there's 25 assignments although I did get a jump on grading the final drafts because some students had turned them in early so in my first class that I just did, there were probably about seven or eight that were graded already. And in this one, there's seven that are already graded. That leaves 16, 18 left to do. Then I've got three classes times 25 of the rough drafts. Now the rough drafts are just graded on completion as well. So that shouldn't be that difficult. Just again, time consuming. So I will still get these done early, um, and I think I'll still be able to be done before five o'clock. I'm hoping this will take me about an hour. I'm going to work on that and just get this done because then I'm also remembering I will have Monday where I don't have to do any grading, no teaching work because it's a holiday. So in the last vlog, I think I might have edited it out, but I was talking about, I know I mentioned, and I probably did edit it out. I wish I had a three to four day weekend every week, because I feel like I need two days to just rest and recover from everything. But then I also need at least one, if not two days, to just be able to really focus on my writing, my editing, my coaching stuff social media stuff, content creation, vlog editing, like all of that is a full-time job in itself that I wish I had five days. You know, I wish, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, I think everyone who does multiple jobs, everyone who has a full-time job and then one or two side hustles, side jobs, part-time jobs, freelance work, whatever, so many of us are doing something else on the side. I feel like we all wish we had a week to devote to our full-time job, like five days, 40 hours or more in some cases, to devote to our full-time jobs, and then another five days to devote to our side projects, and then still have a weekend. And it doesn't work that way. I don't know, like I'm working as smart as I can, like work smarter, not harder. But I feel like, and this is a big problem that I'm really trying, like I'm realizing this and I'm trying to figure out, okay, this is not good, so how do we work around this? I feel like our culture, hustle culture, toxic productivity, all of this is like, the saying is work smarter, not harder. But what we've turned that into, it seems, is work smarter so that you can do more? Like work smarter and work harder? <laughs> work smarter so you can work harder? Like it's just, it's not helping. It's not making a difference. Like I have maximized efficiency in so many little ways in all of my different things but I'm still piling so much onto my plate. Like it, it's, it's still too much. And I get to Friday and I am just so tired. And like I'll intentionally work more hours Monday through Thursday 
so that I can end work a little early. But yeah, the grading is just, uh, my brain isn't clicking over fast enough. So yeah, um, I still want to write or outline a little bit of both. And I still want to do some cover design and I still need to do some reading in my mom's beta draft because I can use that to motivate her to finish my beta draft. <laughs> but yeah, so I still want to do all of that, but I really, I know, I know, because I know me, I know I will feel better this weekend if I get this grading done. So I'm going to get through this. We'll see what happens. It's still a beautiful cloudy day. I've come to sit at my desk because my work laptop needed to be charged. I've got an autumn candle burning. I've got the September playlist on the Alex Rainbird channel playing. I've got my beautiful fall collage on my external monitor. I'm not using my external monitor, but I've got this beautiful fall collage that's my desktop picture for my work laptop that I created in Canva. So I've got that for autumnal inspiration. So like I'm in a good mood. I am in a good mood. I'm just tired of grading. I'm still, I'm still getting into like the zone with grading and getting back into that as a routine. But yeah, we're gonna get this done so that I can enjoy the weekend knowing that there is nothing outstanding in the grade books. I'm done teaching. I'm done with teaching work for the week. Um, and it's four o'clock. 401. I don't know if you can see that. It's 401. So I'd managed to get through that a little bit faster than I anticipated, which is great because usually things take longer than I think. But that went very smoothly. Um, the final drafts went really quickly. There were a bunch of students who had sent me their drafts as Google Docs for feedback and those always go super fast when I'm grading the final because I've already looked at it. They're, they're already pretty good, like almost all the ones that people sent me the rough drafts of, it was mostly formatting issues. And so then that's really easy to just like look at it in Canvas and see, yep, formatting looks good. Those went really easily and quickly. And then the rough drafts all went pretty quick. I'm definitely getting tired. I still need to do some book work. I'm getting really tired of sitting at my desk though. <laughs> my back really hurts. I did something to it at Whole Foods. I don't know what, but I did something to it and I messed it up. And I thought I could sit here and now I'm realizing I don't think I can sit here anymore. 
but no, I'm still gonna do sketching. I was thinking I can't sketch because like it's I need to sit at my desk to sketch, but I've got a little lap desk. I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna sit in my chair, not the couch, but on the chair, I think. I can feel how tired my brain is, but I really wanted to sketch. I just feel like if I don't do any sketching today, then it'll be really easy to not do any sketching tomorrow or Sunday or Monday. And I feel like with the three day weekend, I stand a really good chance of getting the sketch if not completely done, then mostly done by Monday. But in a perfect world, in a perfect world where I'm not yawning every five seconds, in an ideal world, I would be able to get it completely finished, line, completely finished line sketch, scanned into my computer and import it into Photoshop and have it up to that stage. I'd really love to have it up to that stage before, it, at least before I start copy editing. Because if I could be doing Photoshop work with the cover while I'm copy editing, that would be great. I'm fairly close. I'm not that far off. Like looking at my rough sketch and looking at my current cleaner line sketch. And I'm probably gonna have to do one more cleaner. Well, I could probably do, I might do one more clean line sketch in pencil after this one, because this one's already gotten a bit messy, and then do the black ink sketch. But I think I can get it mostly done by the end of Monday. I'm not going to stress about it. I am still going to make myself sketch um, for just a few minutes. Looking at my rough sketch, which I can't show you, but what, what you might be able to see over here, and looking at the rough sketch that's sitting next to it, the majority of the shop I have drawn in, it's really the shop windows. I think today I'm going to try to get one of the shop windows done. Tomorrow I can do the other shop window and then Sunday and Monday I can work on doing a retrace um, with my light board. So I think just like I know I can make a lot of progress in just like 15 minutes. So I'm going to go sit down in my chair with my lap desk and my sketch pad and I'm going to do one shop window and then I will switch to outlining. We'll see how much outlining I can do and then I'll do some reading and then I'll feel like I've done at least a little bit in each of these projects. Small progress is progress. It's, it's all about small progress. I just need to make small baby steps, nano micro steps of progress each day and I will be happy.
but I don't want to get up. <laughs> okay, I've done some sketching. Showed you a teeny, teeny, tiny sneak peek at a tiny portion of the cover. I was realizing that it's, I think it's just gonna be too hard to draw the items in the shop window in the current scale, like size that I'm drawing in. Um, I'm not that good at drawing detail small. <laughs> so often what I do um, with these covers is I'll draw something bigger and then I'll resize it smaller once I get it imported into Photoshop. So I think what I'm going to do is all of the different elements in both shop windows that I've drawn in the rough sketch as just part of one sketch. I'm gonna draw them all separately on a separate sheet of paper and then I will scan them all in individually or in small clusters and I will arrange them. I feel like this cover is gonna have so many layers, but it also happened with the Inn of Hopes and Dreams. The individual pint glasses and coffee mugs in that cover were all individual layers. So it happens, um, but it does just make it easier when I can draw things three or four times bigger than they'll actually be, because then when I shrink it down, it still looks right. I started working on some of those and just have a bunch of different ones and different versions. So I think my goal for this weekend is because the line sketch of the shop itself is pretty good. It's really been the windows that I've been dragging my feet on. So I think I can spend this weekend practicing drawing things bigger. I think tomorrow I'll just do a lot more kind of doodling, just really rough sketches, but larger of all the different elements. And then I can do some finer line sketches. I think this might have been a slight breakthrough, just deciding to sketch those elements a little bit bigger. So that will be good. And then I have switched to some writing, some outlining writing, a little, little bit of both. But I'm back working in Across the Pond 5. I just know, and some of you have seen this because you've been around for a while, I get cranky. get very cranky when I'm not writing. And I don't have to write every day. Like if I'm editing, then that is the priority and you know whatever the next book is is number one priority and needs to be that needs to be worked on every day but one of the reasons why i've allowed myself to start working on across the pond five even though i've got four atp4 needs to be edited independent hearts three needs to be edited both of those are going to get published before this one royal romance will hopefully also be published before across the pond five. So even though I've got these other books, I still have to be writing something. Even if I'm not writing every day, I've been working on this every so often. I probably only worked on it a couple times in all of August. I might only work on this a few times in September and that will be fine. I'm still trying to fix some of the plot issues and I think I've dealt with a lot of them, but um, the last time I really talked about this with you all, I mentioned that I was going to start writing chapter one and two as kind of zero drafts. There goes the air conditioning. I knew that was going to be too good to last. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the desk. I cannot wait until it finally cools down and I can turn off air conditioning and not have to worry about sound quality. It is still so cloudy out. This day, this day, y'all, it's even better than last week when we got a bit of clouds. We've still had no monsoon this year. No monsoon. None at all. So that's been disappointing. 
We had a full on dust storm last night. That was a bit weird. There wasn't enough rain for how much wind and dust and lightning that we got. Like I will take whatever rain we can get, but it wasn't enough. So let's see, in my planner, I need to mark down that I did some cover sketching and I did some writing. I need to use those highlighters. And I did 781 words. So um, yes, yeah, so I was working on chapter one and revise and just writing a first chapter just to like get stuck into the world and see what developed as I worked. That went okay. I have a completed first chapter. I'm not sure I like it. And I've never done this before, but I'm now writing a second first chapter. So I have a version one and a version two. I think version two, there's gonna be some things I wrote in version one that I can copy and paste over. But I just realized there was a, a plot point at the start of the book that I just wanted to change. And I liked the second idea that I had a little bit better than what I'd originally gone with. So I'm flipping the order of some things and I'm changing completely some other things. But I have now outlined 810 words of version two of this chapter. And I'm trying to make sure that it all works to then not have to change what I've outlined for chapter two. So you don't wanna to have to do multiple versions of multiple chapters. I want to just be able to stick with what I've outlined, but I was struggling to figure out like how to really get stuck into this book. Ooh, I cannot stop yawning. I am so, I'm so glad it's the weekend and I'm so glad it's a three day weekend because even though Mondays aren't that wild, like it's office hours in the morning and then it's working on my own at home, on my own time, on my own schedule. Having the day off will still be nice. So anyway, long ramble short. I'm glad I will have Monday off because I can use it to focus on things like cover work and hopefully some more outlining and writing. Anyway, um, it is 5.30. I'm feeling a tiny bit hungry, but I really want to read in my mom's book. So for those who don't know, I've mentioned now, and I think the last couple of vlogs, that I'm beta reading for my mother. She's beta reading for me at the moment, but I'm also beta reading for her. So um, if you're relatively new and haven't heard me talk about it, um, my mom is also a writer <laughs> and an aspiring author. So this is her debut novel that she is planning on publishing at some point. She's not putting herself under as much pressure to like publish by a certain time as I have. But yeah, she wants to publish this book. So she's got a couple of her friends beta reading it and I'm reading it now. This is the second time that I'll be reading it. She's made some changes and done some work on it since the last time, since the last version that I read. So I'm enjoying reading it again um, and I'm really enjoying, I love reading her books in general. She wrote a book years ago, like when I was a teenager, and I read it. And I've read that, I read that version a few times, I just loved it so much. She's like, my mom is a good writer, which is why I have her edit and help me with beta read and stuff like that. Like, I really value her opinion because she understands books and story structure and plot and character and plot and character development and all of that stuff. So I have her draft and I want to do some reading in that. Um, so I'm going to read in that until about six and then I'm just going to give up for the day and the week. I'm so tired but I feel really good about how much I've gotten done. So I can cross off cover sketching and outlining slash writing. So all that's really left is reading mom's book. Um, so I'm gonna do 30 minutes in that. I'll do some more this weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do 30 minutes in that and then I'm gonna get dinner and then I'm gonna relax. I'm just gonna end this vlog here. I was gonna talk to y'all some more later, but I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here. I'm pretty sure it's long enough because I talked to you all this morning after Whole Foods, in the middle of grading, after grading, and now. 
I think I, I think I've talked enough. The less I talk, the less I have to cut out. I know I've gotten at least 45 minutes. And anytime I talk more than 45 minutes worth of time, it means I have to cut out things that I talk about. So we're gonna end this vlog here. So I'm just gonna have a cozy Friday night here at home watching something, don't know what. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I just changed the battery and that's, I feel like it's changed the white balance. So if I look a little bit different, that's why I had to stop the camera. But yes, leave me some, I know I asked for fall emojis in the last vlog, but I'm not over them yet. Leave me some fall leaf emojis. You can leave me some fall leaf emojis because I'm just seeing, okay. Autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. You can leave me some fall leaves or some pumpkin emojis in the comments. I love this little sign. I got that last year, I think, at Target. I still need to go to Target now that it's like autumn and I'm sure they've got all of their autumn stuff up and I think the back to school stuff should be gone now and it should be all the Halloween and autumn stuff. So yeah, I still need to make my back to school back to school Amazon haul. Anyway, leave me some autumn leaves or some pumpkin emojis. Let me know in the comments. I don't have, I don't have a question. So just let me know what how, projects you're working on. Project updates, whether it's writing projects or other projects. Just give me a life update. How y'all doing? And yeah, that's it for me gonna go now. I will show you what I get up to the rest of the evening, but it is just gonna be a relaxing one. Thank you for watching this vlog, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!